missiles all day. Welcome to Abuse Daily, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the General. Alright, so this is my daily. Been my daily for quite some time. It's a uh, 2000 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Now that I'm no longer being interrupted by a finicky gate, um, all right, so I've had this truck for quite a while. It's uh, it's got 227,000 and change on it. It's it's pretty old. It's the original motor and trans. Um, things that aren't original to it are the rear end, drive shaft, and transfer case. Um, under normal circumstances in the summertime, it's got a set of 20 inch mag wheels and really low profile Continental tires, but. And it really handles well because they're 275 wide, which is way better than the 235s that come on the truck from the factory. Um, the motor itself, it's the 5.3 liter. It makes 300 and like two horsepower at 5,000 RPMs, according to Chevrolet. Um, the torque ratings are like about 350. It's really low though, so it's like the 3,000 RPM range is where it tops out. Um, the rear gears are 373. It's a four-speed 4L60E automatic. It's got tow haul. It's also got torque management, which the 2500 series trucks primarily have. She's a little rusty, bub. 17 years old, and it's all original body. Things I've done, it's got a cold air intake, it's got a ported throttle body, it's got a Powerade throttle body spacer, it's got a Diablo Sport 87 performance tune um, with torque management turned off because I'm not a chick. Uh, it's got a cowl induction hood that's actually functional. Um, it sucks in air via the intake. Um, it's dubbed the General Mayhem because my friends thought it was funny that I beat the absolute crap out of this thing, and it also has a Dixie horn. Um, yeah, that's from uh, Horn Blasters. It's 125 decibels, and it runs off a single air pump. There's no tank, no nothing, and it's wired directly to the center of the steering wheel, which is actually pretty cool. Also on the truck, it's got a uh, dual exhaust system via Dynamax. Um, it's their welded system. It's, uh, it's pretty loud. It's also got gutted cats, because, you know, screw the EPA. So instead of cars and coffee, as Dan accurately made the statement here, we're doing uh, Burritos and Bromobiles Day. Also known as it's snowy in New York and fucking cold, so we wanted burritos and we're driving the truck. Mmm, burritos. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Moe's. God, I love Moe's. I also love sweet tea. I'm not a very good northerner, <laughs> aside from my accent, but you know, that's how it goes. And with that, we wear shorts in winter. You mean other people don't wear shorts in winter? Uh, I thought that was a normal thing. The only thing I've had to do to this motor since the factory that's absolutely needed to be done was a water pump. And that was because it basically seized up and my truck was puking out coolant faster than a drunk girl on prom night. So, uh, yeah. And, what it's, other? and it's got... Yeah, we, quite, I wasn't kidding. Quite a few miles. A lot of miles. Yes. He's a lot of miles. Yes. <laughs> um, zero to 60 time, uh, well, when it gets there. Um, truck does weigh a touch under 6,000 pounds, which is a lot. Um, the estimated zero to 60 time via uh, Motor Week on YouTube, love that channel. It gives me so much information is a touch over seven seconds. Now by no means does that make the truck a slouch, but it's nowhere near the Mustang, which is about five seconds, depends on who's driving. The Challenger, which is 4.9 seconds, is the fastest you've gotten it. And then the M3 is an estimated, what, 4.8? 4.8, yeah. So it's nowhere going to touch any of the V8 and actual sports cars. Nate's Blazer's fallen victim. 
victim to it. Sucks to suck, Nate. expect anybody to like really be like yeah bro nice truck because it's, it's actually in all reality a total pile anybody I went to high school knows that in fact one of my best stories is the exhaust falling off leaving school Tyler remembers that Nate actually used my exhaust in the video where we uh, the police made us fix the battle wagon um, that's actually the exhaust off the general mayhem if you do recall um, but it, yeah it was great I was turning out of school burning out of the parking lot Jumped on it, hit a speed bump, all of a sudden, boom, broke off right at the front of the muffler. And it was great because my weld job sucks. Um, and I'm going to school for that too. Um, it was great. So I basically drove around straight pipe for the longest time and you couldn't hear yourself think. And that's when I got this cat back. And it's loud, not too loud. I enjoy it because it, it's it's better sounding than most people with the weed whackers or Hondas or whatever the hell they want to call them. The stance crew. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing sounds better than the Mustang or the Challenger or even the M3. The M3 sounds fantastic. I wish I could have been there for that. The M3 sounds fantastic. I, I love how the M3 sounds. I wish sounds. I brought the key so we could have done yeah, that. But. I wish I could have heard it in person because videos do none of our vehicles any justice. I wish you guys, I mean, if you guys could come and see it, it would be great. But it's it's... You know, videos are, I guess, what you guys have to stick with. Um, other than that, I really have not much else to say other than, um, just like Larry the Enticer, I'm just going to send it. And um, check you later. All right. Bye-bye.